Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can use conditional Unicar icons within DAX to show a relevant custom icon depending on the time that's displayed in our system. So really interesting and creative use case and we can use this to, to personalise our Power BI reports. So we'd previously looked at more advanced conditional formatting using DAX measures um, and field values rather than rules. So we're going to expand on this. But first of all, in order to apply these conditional icons with our DAX, we're going to need to understand the Unicar function. Very simple, actually. It just returns um, the associated, it could be a letter or symbol as per the Unicar decimal number and sometimes you can use a hex code as well. So in the example here in the Microsoft documentation, we can see that 65 will return an uppercase letter, um, 32 returns a space character, and the other number um, returns a symbol. So that's fantastic. Now, where do we go to find out the relevant symbols um, or icons that we may use dependent on the Unicar number? Well, W3Schools has a great resource, but there's several resources online. But you can see we get the decimal number for the black sum with the rays 9728 and the black star 9733 and these are what we're actually going to use to reference the symbol and um, that we'll activate within our power bi report dependent on the time that's stored in our system so we'll look at how to do that really interesting use case and as i said the first step whenever you're stuck or you want to learn something is usually um, in Power BI, the Microsoft documentation, and from there we can go on and use other materials to learn how to expand on that knowledge. So we're actually creating quite a simple switch measure, um, and we declare a variable first. So the variable that we actually want to declare, we're just going to call it our, with the two underscores preceding it. And all we actually need to do, we can use the inbuilt hour method and now, and that will show us the current time in our system as an integer value. So the current hour as the integer, and we're going to use this to apply that switch logic um, to our measure and to, to activate this conditional icon. So as usual, I'll always set a comment beside it good practice, transparency, and help others know if they're, if they're accessing the same file. Um, and for yourselves, following along. So we're setting the hour to the integer value. Fine. The great thing about DAX is we usually follow a really logical pattern. So we're just going to hit the return. If you haven't used the return keyword before, the return function, we're just returning our previously referenced variable. If you if you've programmed before, you might call this calling a variable. Um, but essentially, we've we've referenced it and we need to bring it into play now. So we can now go into the the logical component, the switch statement. So we're just saying, whilst true, what we're going to do, um, and we're going to say if the hour is less than a certain val value, in our case, we can say twelve. And the reason I'm breaking this down like such is to give you an idea of how you could use, you know, more than two icons. Um, so say if the hour is less than 12, we're going to apply the sun unicar decimal value, which we said earlier was 9728. And then I'm going to go ahead in this DAX script and also say if the hour is between 12 and 5, then we'll also apply the sun. And if not, we're going to use our star to reflect the time at night. But like I said, you could use this middle period or you could break down into more than three statements um, and you could show a lot of different icons if you wanted. So I wanted to display the flexibility there. And especially when you use conditional formatting, this is really valuable. Um, and there's a few people posted on this recently and, and it's a very good topic. If you want to create more power in your conditional formatting, you can then go ahead and use DAX measures. So lastly, what we do at the end of a switch statement is we just say else. It's, it's, it's a more efficient if statement. So we're saying if the hour is less than one value, we're applying this icon less than another, this icon and anything else, which is just the final statement that just presents as Unicar, we'll just present the star. So that's a sort of end clause. 
So really simple, we go through declaring a variable, we return it, we use a switch statement to go through the logic dependent on values, and that should allow us to have a nice conditional icon dependent on the time so we can we can save that. And the last stage that we need to perform, we'll place it in a card. So we'll bring in a card, um, we'll align it next to our dynamic greeting. Again, I've got a previous video on this I can link if you want to check it out because these two are really powerful together. They add a nice level of customization. And you can see that we get the, the black sun with rays. So we can actually go into our formatting now, change the color to that nice gold. Um, and there we have it as it's the morning. In my system, it's going to reflect as the sun. And as we, we log on at night, potentially, we would see that star. Um, as usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.